Hello everyone, welcome to my channel, Jersey Shore Pondscapes videos. My name is Chris, and as usual, we're talking all about pond stuff, right? Garden ponds, koi ponds, waterfalls, pond filtration, fish, plants, the whole bit, okay? Um, I have a ton of videos here on this channel. Please, you know, take some time, check them out. There's a lot of good information here for you guys. I have videos on so many different topics. Um, today we're doing a video on a little, something a little different, okay? Um, I have done a video a while back in the past about the type of wildlife that your pond may attract. Um, some good, some bad, right? Um, you know, check out that video. It's pretty cool. It's, it's really, I, it's something that I really enjoy um, when it comes to owning a pond is, you know, understanding and kind of appreciating the, the wildlife that comes to your pond and the whole ecosystem of your pond. I, I think that's really something amazing. You know, you're, when you build a pond, you're thinking about, you know, pumps and filters and liners and whatever, right? But you forget that you're building an environment, right? That's going to sustain life. And, and that's something that to me is, is really pretty cool. And I appreciate, you know, um, sitting around the pond and just watching, you know, the wildlife, the frogs, you know, the fish, um, you know, the plants, the flowers, um, things like, you know, turtles, um, birds that come down and drink the water, uh, you know, uh, all that kind of stuff, right? So today's video <laughs> is about one of those creatures, um, dragonflies and damselflies, okay? Um, they are always present around your pond, around the water, and they've always kind of intrigued me. I've always thought that they've been pretty cool. And I've, I do have a nice camera. I do enjoy going on some, you know, little hikes and taking some wildlife photos, you know, of birds and things and butterflies and, and all kinds of stuff. Um, and dragonflies has always been something that I've always tried to, you know, get pictures of. There's so many different varieties and, you know, they're pretty interesting and, and they're larger, right? So, you know, you don't have to get, you know, within three inches of it to get a close-up shot of them, right? <laughs> it's pretty cool. You just put a nice big lens on, zoom in, and, and you got this dragonfly in there. And it's really, really pretty cool looking. Um, so I have a ton of photos that, you know, I've taken over the years. Um, of dragonflies that I'm going to be putting up here in the background, you know, throughout this video. And um, I'm going to try to give you a little education about dragonflies and why they're around your pond and what good they do and, you know, why, um, you know, they're pretty cool. All right. So, dragonflies start off as a larva, okay. They lay their eggs into the water, all right. Um, the eggs hatch and they are little like larvas that are they're actually really really vicious all right they're nasty um, they are carnivores all right they will eat small little fish anything that they can attack and kill and eat they will they are nasty okay they really are vicious when they are in their larva stage okay now they can live in this larva stage for a long time sometimes it's a, a couple months sometimes it could be a year or more okay that they stay in their larval stage i don't know exactly that whole process and why and all that but um, i know that you know they can be in that larval stage for a while um, once they get to a certain point, they crawl out of the water, okay, um, and then they mutate into a dragonfly, okay, um, where then they, you know, fly around. They are not aquatic anymore, okay. When they're larvae, they're totally aquatic. They don't come out of the water. They live underwater. Then they come out, turn into the dragonfly, and then they live above the water, okay? But they do return to lay their eggs, you know, back into the water, okay? Um, 
Now, they will not hurt you. Once they are a dragonfly, right, they will not hurt you. They, they don't bite. They don't sting. Okay, They're, they have no, um, there's nothing to be afraid of with them. Having them around your pond, having them around your yard is actually a good thing because they still are predatory. They still do eat a lot of insects, right, that can be found in your gardens and stuff that can affect, you know, your plants and stuff in your garden. So they are a beneficial insect in your yard. So it is actually kind of uh, really cool to have them, um, you know, and, and just, I, I just find it intriguing to just sit and watch them fly around and they land on the flowers, they land on the blade of grass, and they're, they're actually pretty cool the way they interact with each other. Now, dragonflies are larger. Damselflies are a little bit different. Same kind of family, but they're, they're um, smaller and they have really long, thin bodies. Um, and the eyes on a dragonfly um, are big. Their eyes are basically their whole head almost, okay? On a damselfly, there are two little round balls on the end, okay? They're almost like a hammerhead shark, okay? They have this whole like long head and then they have a big eyeball on either end. Um, where again, dragonflies are just, their whole head are two big massive eyes, okay? Um, they're very cool, they're, they're different. So the damsel is a thinner body and large, you know, um, eyes on either stalk, on either end of their head. Um, Dragonflies definitely can grow a larger. Um, both basically have a very similar lifestyle. Um, they both, you know, have our larvae stages in the water. They come out, okay, um, definitely. Um, <laughs> quite often, you will see dragonflies kind of, um, well, males and females kind of attached to each other. The, the male, on the end of their tail has like a hook that actually grabs and can connect to the back of the female's head. All right, so behind the head and the, her body, I guess maybe you call it a thorax, um, it can attach and they can stay together there. All right. Um, now, <laughs> it's kind of interesting, I'm going to bring it up briefly, but the way they reproduce is actually pretty cool. Um, the male, all right, attaches to the back of the head of the female, um, but <laughs> its sex organs are actually in the middle of the tail. So the female has to kind of bring her tail around to the center section of the of the males and when they do this especially in like a lot of these damselflies okay they actually form a heart with their bodies <laughs> it's, just, it's just it's just a cool fact i guess right so um and then you know the female will lay the eggs in the water and then they start the whole process over again um, but uh, yeah they form a heart actually when they when they're mating um, but uh, <laughs> um, yeah it's pretty neat the way they attach so it is actually quite often that you will see um, these dragonflies attached to each other and damselflies attached to each other when they're flying around um, and you know again you know the males will fight um, you know, for the females and, and it goes on and on. Um, there's actually a really cool thing um, about their reproductive uh, cycles here that um, once the male deposits the sperm into the female, it will fly away. It'll leave the female. If another male comes and attaches himself to that female as well, he actually has a special organ on him <laughs> that goes into the female and extracts that sperm from the previous male and then he deposits his. It's, it's kind of a crazy, crazy thing, but it's a cool fact about dragonflies, I guess. Um, but anyway, uh, enough with all that, um, but uh, you know, I just bringing that up because like I said you see them attached to one another quite often and and you know that's 
what's going on. So, um, but otherwise, yes, they are good to have in your yard, okay? They are predatory on other insects, um, you know, that can, you know, live in your gardens and stuff, so they're kind of cool to have. Um, they are nasty when they're in the larval stage, um, but they are very common, and, and they're, they're interesting to watch. So I just wanted to do this little video to kind of teach you a little bit about dragonflies and let you know they're not going to hurt you, <laughs> right? They are good to have around, and, you know, there's many different varieties and they are really pretty interesting to, to check out and, and observe so um, thanks for watching the video um, something a little bit different today and uh, again you know please uh, hit the like button subscribe to the channel check out all my videos I've got a ton of videos on pond stuff here um, and hopefully you know you can find something that you can find interesting and help you out and teach you a little bit and uh, thanks for watching, and I hope to see you again in another video. Take care. Thank you. Bye.